It is wine time on the patio and today I'm going to be sharing some information with you about Purple Toad Winery. So on Friday I was prompted to do this visit um, because I was on my Chamber of Commerce networking Zoom meeting and someone was asking about cotton candy wine from Purple Toad Winery. And it had been a little while since I'd been to Purple Toad and I thought well this gives me the perfect excuse to pay a visit there and see what's going on right now. So yesterday we paid a visit to Purple Toad Winery. It's in Paducah, Kentucky. It is Kentucky's largest winery. And we checked out what was going on there. So they are doing tastings. Uh, you can also buy wine, of course, by the glass or by the bottle. They have slushies. They had, I think, four or five different flavors of slushies. And they even had cotton candy flavored slushy. I'm sure that they do vary those on different days, but this is probably one of their more popular sweet wines. Um, so at Purple Toad, they've set up a barrier between you and the person doing the pours for your tastings, um, like a plastic wall, basically, um, plexiglass or something. And so they meet you at the door, they take, find out how many folks are in your party, and then they take you back when it's your turn, which was very quick, it moved very swiftly. Um, and then the tastings there are free. Uh, we had a choice of eight selections, so they have a eight and a half by 11 size sheet with both sides full. They have lots of different wines to choose from. They do a lot with um, fruit. So they do have wines, uh, traditional wines made with grapes, but then they also have uh, fruit wines and grape and fruit blends. Um, and so this is actually a grape and fruit blend. So this is a combination, um, it's called cotton candy and it smells and tastes a lot like cotton candy. It's really an interesting wine. But it is a blend of Concord grapes, which is a very sweet grape. I just did a video on last week. Um, it's the Welch's Grape Jelly grape. So it's used for a lot of different uh, fruity things, uh, including, of course, the Concord wine, which is sweet. But they blended the Concord grape with blackberries. And that is what has sort of given them this wine, which is called Cotton Candy. So um, I will be sharing some photos of our visit so you can see what's going on there. So I'm going to do a little pour of this. I'm using my sweet wine glass. So the sweet wine glass is shaped a little bit like this. Otherwise, you could use a white wine glass. It would also work for this. But when you get a smell of this, you really get the cotton candy on the nose. You can tell it smells a lot like cotton candy. So it's kind of like a going to a carnival all of a sudden. And it's very sweet. So is definitely got a flavor of cotton candy as well, which I'm not sure, if, I'm sure they've had to infuse a little something in to get that flavor in there. It's just blackberry and um, Concord alone would probably not give you quite this flavor, but it's really, really nice. If you like sweet wines, I think you would like this. Because it's got a soft sweetness. It's not overpowering, although it does definitely taste a little bit like cotton candy. Uh, like I said, they had cotton candy slushies there, which I'm sure is very popular as well. So, um, if you watch this entire video, you'll see some photos of the winery and of how they're doing the tastings right now. Um, but it was very pleasant, it was really nice, and I, I bought a few bottles of wine there, so I'll be sharing some other ones later on. But since I had the request for this one, uh, I thought I would do a little share of it today. So today, I'm going to enjoy my wine time on the patio with my chilled bottle of cotton candy wine from Purple Toad Winery. It's wine time. Cheers.